Hello, there's loads of really good sites on the internet showing you how you can sharpen your carpentry tools, your planes and your chisels. The big problem with them is they normally suggest that you use a honing guide and they can be expensive and difficult to find. So I'm going to show you how to make a honing guide which is very accurate and really all it uses is a torch. All manufacturers of plane irons and chisels give you the tool with a ground angle of 25 degrees and they expect you to hone it to 30 degrees at the tip. So I'll show you how to obtain first of all a 30 degree angle. I have here a piece of chipboard uh, on, this is a coloured piece but you can just use only plain chipboard along the bottom edge here I've just marked a line parallel to the edge. I have a pair of compasses and I'm just going to draw one side of an equilateral triangle which if you remember the internal angle of which is 60 degrees So this has now got a 60 degree angle and what I'm going to do now is bisect that angle and that will give us a 30 degree angle so just marking a point now and those two lines Now that is 30 degrees. Now all I've done is I've taken the board and I've drilled three holes in the bottom and I've mounted it onto a piece of wood so that it will stand vertically. Okay so now I've mounted the board, it's mounted vertically and it's in position. I've got my diamond faced sharpening stones here and I've got a little fruit crate and in it I've got the famous torch. So what I'm going to do now is just turn the torch on. You can see the top surface of the stone and we can see the 30 degree angle. So what I'm going to do now is use the shadow cast by the chisel and line it up with the straight line and that's a 30 degree angle. And now I can just proceed with my sharpening process and I can keep checking to make sure the angle is right. That's it. Good luck. The other thing is of course is you don't have to be using one of these stones you can just use an ordinary flat oil stone. Exactly the same principle applies and you can get exactly the same angle every time. I hope that's helped. Good luck with your experiments. And that angle will be 30 degrees, but I haven't got a long rule, blessed.